<clears throat> yeah, thoughts from a boss, back at you. It's your boy King Lux 74. Today, I wanna talk about haters and the necessity and having the ability to let them haters hate. Now see, I done dealt with haters my whole life, you feel me? So, there's nothing new to get haters and deal with them to me, you understand what I'm saying? I've been doing that my whole life. So, I wanna give y'all this quick example of hating and why it's important and, and why it's a good sign when you have haters. My grandfather always told me, if they ain't hating, you ain't doing something right. Now, what's in the dark always comes to light and I shine, baby. You see, I shine. So, let's talk about these haters. Right now, I'm on break, you know what I'm saying? I'm not that working type of dude, you know? I'm not, but I do have a job, you know? I just got a divorce maybe a couple years ago. I'm on my bounce back. This is my comeback, you know what I'm saying? They say a man is defined by, not by how he falls, but how he gets up. You know what I'm saying? This is my get up, and this is a fast get up. It's been, it's been turned around faster than I thought. You know what I'm saying? So genuinely on the inside, I feel good, but let's, you know, last summer I caught a break in life, you know what I'm saying? In general, just a break in life, you know, uh, I was looking for a job, you know what I'm saying? The only job that I could find was paying $15 an hour. It was a 12 hour shift, so I took it. It was because it was $15 I needed. I got two kids, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a single father with, you know, so I need at least, you know what I'm saying? The 15 ain't enough, but I need at least that. So I didn't want to take it because it was a 12 hour shift and I never worked that before, but I get on a 12 hour shift and I loved it. You know what I'm saying? What I found out with the 12 hour shift is that I was at home way more. I spent way more time with my kids on the 12 hour shift. So it was the balance of the money in the shift. My bills was paid and I was broke, but I was spending good time with my kids. We go to the park, we do a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So things get to rolling and they start training motherfuckers to go through steps. It's like, boom, you gotta go. You you hit the ball, you go to first base, second base, third base, home, you score. That's how they do it. You know what I'm saying? They got this spot in there called a PO where everybody really want to get to because you're making $21, $22 an hour. You know what I'm saying? Which is a big step from that 15. So let's be down to the skinny on the hating shit. So I'm in here, you know, and I'm just getting in this motherfucker and you know, I'm not, I'm not no lame ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm in here, but I don't fuck with bitches that I work with. So that causes a problem all the time if it's a lot of bitches that I'm working with. So I don't fuck with them bitches that cause problems. I got some bitches that's in charge and, and, and I'm telling my mans what the plan is and he telling me, boom, okay, that's what we gonna do for you. So the next supply handle training, we're gonna put you in it. Oh, but uh, you know what I'm saying? The little bitch was standing right there. He's like, oh, but I let her run it. So, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be up to her. So the next one come, my mans get put in and she say, I ain't put you in it because he was here first. So it's seniority. Okay, cool. I can respect and honor that. The next one come in, they put in people that started after me. Now I can't respect and honor that. And now I have to think and get smarter than you motherfuckers because haters going to hate. You know what I'm saying? But it's all about your response in the game. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. When it rains, it pours. But you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker with rain suits and umbrellas is, is the ones that's responding right. You know what I'm saying? Because once that start hitting and soaking in this sweater, you mad because you wet and cold. You know what I'm saying? So once they start fucking up the seniority shit, okay, boom. What you should do is pull up motherfuckers' resumes and that way you have the best qualified candidates. Now see, I can say that because I'm firm on what I got on my resume, you know what I'm saying? I'm very confident, especially at the job I'm at. My resume matches exactly the job that I'm at. So boom, pass everybody passing up the resumes. Now, you know what I'm saying? I get the word, they finna meet me to the PO spot. So I'm finna go from home plate with the, with the hit straight to a triple. You know what I'm saying? I hit a triple. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers trying to get singles and shit to get to, to second base, to get to where I'm at at third base. I hit a triple off top in less than two months. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, they hate. 
So I get up in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers guarding third base like I can't get to it and shit. I'm running motherfuckers over, man. Stop hating. Get your puss ass out the way. You know what I'm saying? Bitches mad and shit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't give a fuck, nigga. I got my motherfucking money and ain't shit no fucks can do about it. You feel me? Nah, it's on me to fuck it up. And I ain't gonna give them the satisfaction of doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? I let them haters hate. Oh, the haters hating because Devon called off. Nigga, Devon got sick days. Haters hating because King Lust 7 4 gonna exercise his 10 extra sick days for coronavirus because the kids out of school. Hate on, nigga. You should have had you some kids. I got kids. You know what I'm saying? Pay me, motherfuckers. Thoughts from a boss back at all costs. Let them motherfucking haters hate hate. Tell them motherfuckers they should have burnt in the holocaust. Yeah. Knock them all off with Molotovs. Niggas tripping, boy, cause I'm a bigger boss. I let you, boy.